Scholarly open access articles are ones you can find without paying or subscribing to access them. Everybody can read these articles as long as they have internet access. As defined by Spark, open access is the free, immediate, online availability of research articles, coupled with the rights to use these articles fully in the digital environment. How can you quickly find scholarly open access articles? After watching this video, you should be able to get started. Look at the items here in the Moodle course. Some search engines contain only open access articles, while others provide a mix of free and fee-based articles. Pay attention to the ones you are searching. For instance, the directory of open access journals, Bielefeld Academic Search Engine, Hindawi, and Plus One are entirely open access and provide articles that anyone in the world can read and access. The hybrid search engines include Google Scholar, Microsoft Academic Search, PubMed, and ERIC. For example, the Government Index PubMed is a hybrid search engine that will point you to articles that cost money and also articles that are free. Let us take a look at how to identify whether an article is open access or not in Google Scholar. If you are on campus and you look at the settings, in the section labeled Library Links, you'll notice that the boxes for Idaho State University and Open World Cat are already marked. If you're at home, type in Idaho State and you should be able to find the box to check. It enables you to search Google Scholar on your topic and see links that say find it at Idaho State University. Where the university library pays for access, Google Scholar can connect you with those articles. How about an example? If we search diabetes, limit the results to since 2018 and look at this second result. We can see if it is an open access article. First click the article title with the hyperlink. It directs you to the article publisher's website which provides links to the PDF. However, these links do not give full text access. Here we can see that you have to pay $35 to access the article and there is no refund. The good news is that you can access this article through the ISU library. Some articles indexed in Google Scholar can be read and accessed by anyone in the world. They are open access articles. The ones you have to pay for in order to read or that require a university library account to access are not open access articles. Back on the Google Scholar search results page, if we scroll down a bit, we can see one that looks to be freely accessible. This one that says Lifestyle Management Standards of Medical Care in Diabetes 2018 has a link to the right that says HTML. This typically means that the full text article is free and ready for us to read. If this link on the right were to say PDF next to the website domain, this often means the article is free. We count these articles as open access articles, especially if you can read them for free directly on the publisher's website. Notice that the full article appears below here. This is the full article. If we return to the full search results, they are ordered differently with older articles near the top. Notice that in Google Scholar it indicates how many articles have cited this one. This first one on the list has been cited by 6,620 other studies. The theory goes that the more times an article is cited, the more influential that article is. When you click the link, it takes you to all the articles that cited this article. This can be a good way to find other relevant articles. Let's look at plus one real quick. Plus One is a peer-reviewed open access scientific journal published by the Public Library of Science. Lots of nursing students have found it to be a great open access search engine. All the articles here can be read and downloaded by anyone in the world. They are all open access. Let's try pancreas in a search and you'll notice that it brings back more than 6,000 results. 
which can be pared down by categories on the left side, such as the journal, subject area, article type, author, where my keywords appear, etc. If you click the article title, you will see the metrics on the right page. These metrics show data about how many others have saved, decided, viewed, or shared this article. On this page, you will also see a lot of information such as the author's names, the DOI, and the publication date. You can either read the article on this page or download the PDF version. The PDF version typically provides the page number on the bottom of each page, which we ask you to document in your bibliographic reference rather than the article ID number, which is listed over here on the right next to the issue number. Back on the plus one page, you'll notice that it does show the references down below. When you click on the links, it may actually provide you with the full text articles. You don't even have to log in and you can read the full text online. The last resource that I have is the Directory of Open Access Journals. This is a great database where anyone can search for open access, peer-reviewed journal articles. They share more than 3 million articles in over 11,000 journals to the entire world. A search for Oscar Wilde returns more than 70 articles in various languages. Limit by language or subject if you want. The expanded record gives more information including the fact that this article underwent the double-blind peer review process and that it was published 52 weeks after its original submission. Now let's take a look at the Browse Subjects tab. Notice that the DOAJ includes scholarly articles in dozens of subjects from the fine arts and humanities to medicine and the law. Like Plus One, the DOAJ lets researchers find only open access scholarly articles. Some of the main points we want you to take from this video include the following. Some search engines like the Directory of Open Access Journals and Plus One give free access to scholarly articles in many areas of research. Other search engines like Google Scholar and PubMed may tell you about more academic articles, but links may take you to a publisher's website who then ask you to pay for access to the article. Some articles are free to read and others are not. If you can read the full article, particularly if it is in a PDF format without paying or using library databases, then it is probably an open access article. Good luck finding open access scholarly articles this week. If you have questions, let us know. Have a good day.